Hey, what's going on guys? The Bell Dem is back for a brand new video. And welcome back to episode 5 of my Stein Revisited series. Okay, so before I talk about the books, the book, and for today's review, I want to, I want to say happy 30th anniversary to Goosebumps in general. Goosebumps, Goosebumps premiered uh, on this month, 1992. And the series has really kind of... It's not only influenced me, as it really it really began like the seedlings of my love for horror. Yes, but it also began like it really kickstarted my love of reading. I was already reading before, like the goo before I picked up a Goosebumps book, but it was one of like the first chapter books I remember reading when I was a kid. And so, in that regard, the series has really, like, was really hit two milestones for me, or not milestones, or like really two influences that really just kind of snowballed into like this what snowballed into the kind of person I am today and I still love these folks even if some of them are just okay but yeah happy anniversary happy 30th anniversary to goosebumps yeah so today in this episode we're gonna be talking about book number five the curse of the mummy's tomb This book is kind of a. It's kind of comp. It's really like kind of a mixed bag for for me. On the one hand, I don't think it's the worst one, but I wasn't really I wasn't really as enthusiastic about this one as as say, Welcome to Dead House or Stay at the Basement or Say Cheese and Die. Um. So basically this book follows this character named Gabe, who's in Egypt with his parents. They're scientists, and he is a bit of a lover of Egyptology. He loves mummies. He has a he carries around a little mummy hand souvenir that he got at a garage sale. Which he calls the summoner. And basically it's the like like it's just like a, a to any other person it might just look like a little like tacky souvenir. But the legend has it this uh, little mummy's hand can actually summon the dead. So I just thought it was in, that was a little interesting detail, and it makes me want like one this little mummy hand as well because I just thought it was a really cool little artifact. But we're quickly like introduced to Gabe and his parents, and then uh, in the very next chapter, uh, Gabe's parents have to go and take care of some business in Alexandria. So, and he doesn't want to go with them because he wants to stay and explore, he wants to go inside the Great Pyramid. 
So they give him the option that he can either go with them or he can stay behind and wait for his Uncle Ben and his cousin Siri. And of course, Gabe stays behind because, you know. But Gabe and Siri, they're like the characters in this are you're pretty. They're pretty. You they're your usual like. Your usual goosebumps characters. They give them like a little. They give the character. Sang really gives these. He gives some details to the, these characters, so they're just not like typical stock characters. But they're the Goosebumps characters. They always follow like a certain kind of formula that you really start to pick up on, you know. And these two are really no, and these characters are really no exception. There's something like really uh, grandiose about them. But you like, I mean, they're pretty. They're dependable enough for to like push the plot plot forward and it's like Gabe and his Gabe and his cousin they're they're the typical kind of like sibling like cousin duo they're always butting heads they're always picking on each other I mean they're like I mean they are 12 and under so but it's not like they don't really like each other they really do care for each other it's just like that typical, like, Goosebumps formula that, it's like, you know, and, but they're, they're real, they're like, they're okay written, is what I'm trying to say. And, like, as the book progresses, like, Gabe and his, he really starts, Gabe learns more about what this, uh, Curse of the Mummy's Tomb is about, and... He just goes on like this. He just goes on this adventure with his uncle and his cousin. They get inside the pyramid and they discover some really, uh, like really disturbing things. And they made a couple. They made like an enemy along the way. It's just like kind of fun, you know, fun children's story. It's like very. There's some dark stuff in the. There's some dark stuff in in this book. There's like, but it's not quite as dark as like. It's not going to give your kids nightmares or anything. It's just kind of a... It's like... It lets you know that... It lets, like, it lets the reader know that... Yes, we are like... We are a... We, we are know that you're a goose or goosebumps book. But we're kind of just like playing around with that. It's like... We don't want to keep things too safe, you know? And that's just kind of what this book is... is. Sorry. Tripping over my words here. So, in this regard, like, he was really... Stein really kind of... He writes this book with, like, he writes... This book is just kind of okay. I mean, when they actually get inside the pyramid, like, he does... He does a really decent job at describing what the, what it's like. Just, like, what it's like, how confined and claustrophobic this pyramid really is, you know? And I won't, like, spoil the ending for it, but I will say I was I won't say it's a terrible ending, but I was kind of a little underwhelmed by it as well. So I just, like I don't I don't regret reading this. I really don't. I just thought it was a very, a very s serviceable Goosebumps book. Is what I'm saying. I really enjoyed like, it's it's purposeful. Like I understand. Like I appreciate. Like I like the I like mummy stuff. So I think it was just like a take. I think it's just a cool little like quick take a quick break. You know, read something really kind of spooky and then. Just that's it. There's only there's really nothing in here that's gonna leave like a lasting impact. Although I did think that the like the explanation for one scene or like why they did what they did, there was like a really there's like okay, there's one scene in this book that's actually um one character in this book it does something that's a little bit of horrific. Like Especially for a kids, especially for a children's book, but 
I say that as like I don't mean that as like a knock against children's books. I want children's books to be dark and intense. But yeah, there's just like something in here happens in here. Just you're just I'm just like, wow. Okay, that's just like that's really scary. And after that, it's just kind of a uh, it does some stuff happens, and I'm just like okay, well, I don't know what. Like, I don't under know what I'm supposed to feel here, but I don't know. I thought it was okay. I thought it was fine. It was it was fine enough. So, I'm going to give Curse of the Mummy's Tomb a... I'm going to give it like a 2.5 screams out of 5. It's not the worst, but I just don't really, like... I don't, I'm not going to lose any sleep if I don't read it or I don't read this ever again. So... Yeah, uh, that's my little uh, review. Uh, thank you for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And let me know what you think of this book. And if is it is is it your favorite? I'm curious. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you soon in a new video.